その子のことを考えると胸が苦しくなってでも毎日会えるだけですっげえ幸せになるんだ三色院すみれ子さんって子が好きなんだ Oh, turning this, this episode off like this, huh? Oh, oh my. Well, before I really get into what I want to say regarding episodes 2 and 3 of Ore Suki, cue the intro. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Judy the Game here, aka your favorite gamer. And I'm doing something a little bit different today. Um, I am looking, well, not looking, well, that's not the word I wanted to use. But for this Ore Sukiyo episode 2 and 3, uh, first impression slash reaction slash review, I wanted to try something different. So I just recently got this webcam. Sorry, I'm looking at my phone to make sure my notes are right. So I just recently got this webcam. This is pretty much what I'm going to be using my webcam for. Uh, for these type of reviews, uh, mostly related to anime. And if I'm able to work it into, you know, doing screens, I will continue to do so. But as of right now, I pretty much will only be using the this webcam maybe once or twice a week. Um, doing the Ore Suki episode review. Now, now that that's out of the way, let's get into episode two. Episode two literally picked up, literally picked right off when episode one ended. You know, episode one ended with Panji telling Jolo that she loved him. As you know, in episode one, both Himawari and Cosmo both came out to drill and said that they love Sun. Probably like the next this day episode. So. But it's a continuation, I feel, as episode one. So in my mind, I'm calling episode two as episode one B. If, if that makes any sense. Because episode two literally picked up, picked up right where episode one left. Um... The plot that really moved forward in this one didn't really happen, you know, probably not towards the middle, towards the end. Again, but in this episode, we get a huge bombshell, and I mean a huge bombshell that Drollo did not take into account who Soon or Sun liked. He did not take that into account whatsoever as he was busy trying to help, you know, unsuccessfully help Himawari and Cosmo get with his best friend. He completely did not take that into account that maybe Soon would like a different That's girl. a rookie mistake. He probably should have asked first who Soon liked beforehand, before, you know, agreeing to help both girls. That was his fault. And so while the two of them, you know, are playing basketball and Soon is just, being a freakish athlete, just dominating. He just blurts out, hey, Soon, do you like somebody? And, <laughs> and probably the most hilarious part of this entire episode was that Bench Sama appeared again. Yes, the Bench appeared. So not only, <laughs> so as soon as Jolo saw this Bench, he started freaking out. He was like, why is there a Bench even here? Please do not tell me who I, who soon likes, who he, who Jolo thinks he likes. And unfortunately for Jolo, <laughs> he is proven correct that Jolo is in love with Panji. So th this is, this is what this, uh, this episode brought forth. It's like a love, I, I can't even tell you what kind of shape this love triangle is in because it's not a triangle and it's not even a square. Uh, so, just follow along. Himawari and Cosmo, you know, both of those two like Soon. Soon likes Panji, aka Best Girl. I'll get into that later. Panji likes Jolo, but Jolo doesn't like Panji. He, you know, quasi likes Himawari and Cosmo purely because he only wants to get with both girls 
or get with either girl when soon decides to take a girlfriend out those two so this is kind of like a weird dynamic it's a weird dynamic that's going on here and you know Joro once again being the friend that he is agrees to help soon but also didn't mean that soon asked both girls who are totally in love with him to help him get with Himawari. This is after Jolo talked with him about, you know, giving it his all, using his resources. Both girls were absolutely crushed. Get with Panji, knowing good and dang well that Panji likes him. So he stupidly, <laughs> and I mean stupidly, literally asked Panji, you know, to get away from all of this and to make Soon happy by trying to get Panji dating to date Soon. You follow me? So let, let me flip my notes real quick. So Jolo, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say it again. Jolo asked Panji, who likes him, to date his best friend, so that the two girls um, won't get as hurt, but they'll still be hurt. So it really doesn't make sense. And Panji, you know, be hit. She outright disapproves of that entire plan. And even as, you know, Jola kind of, you know, tried to force her to agree, she still kind of like slapped them off, shrugged them off and said, no, I'm not going to go out with him. I don't like him. I've told you before that the only guy I have eyes on is you, Jolo. Um, <laughs> so, so, so that's the time. So we get to the end of episode two, which is a doozy because it sets up a great cliffhanger to keep people right on the edge for episode dynamic as an episode two. So we get to the end of episode two, which is a doozy because it sets up a great cliffhanger to keep people right on the edge for episode three. You feel me? It, it gets people right on the edge, as you know. Jolo is making his, you know, daily lunch visits to the library to talk with Banji, although he doesn't like that part that he's forced, you know, hang out with her. The door opens and soon Himawari and Cosmos are all right there at the door with the same kind of expression looking like why is he here? <laughs> and this is where episode three comes in. Like episode three starts off with this scene. Like it literally starts off right at the end of episode two with Jolo and Panji and kind of like, well, more so Jolo in disbelief that all three of them are standing there right at the door. You know, Panji got the the anime glasses glint going off her face <laughs> that she just created like a concoction of a plan. We don't know yet at that point. Um, and, you know, soon outright asked me, was like, Jolo, I thought you two didn't like each other. What are y'all doing here? Or what are you doing here? And that's when both Kimura and Cosmo both outright call him a liar and a jerk. Uh, you know, because they both kind of explain that Jolo, yeah, you know, uh, well, from Soon's point of view, Jolo told him to give it his best efforts and use those two as pawns to get with Panji. And, you know, both those two are kind of hurt. And, you know, they, they basically say, you know, we thought we were friends. How could you do this to us? All while using Jolo in that exact same way. That, that's the funny part. They were using Jolo in that exact same way. 
They were basically only using him to get with his best friend. And, you know, at this point, Jolo is basically under a panic attack and disbelief that, you know, all his plans are basically gone wrong at this point. And, you know, he lashes out. He lashes out at both girls, you know, basically telling them, like, why have y'all been using me this exact same way? Like, like, I've been trying so hard to help you get with Sun that you don't, you guys don't even spare my feelings. Y'all don't care about how I feel about going through this whole ordeal. And, you know, both Himawari and Cosmo both basically end their friendship with Jolo right then and there. Panji kind of, well, she really did not help when she blurted out uh, Jolo's plan. And that was to get with either girl who ever soon rejected. You know, for his quote-unquote happily ever after. Yeah, both girls were really not happy with that. And basically ended their friendship right then and there. And, you know... Soon, at this point in time, was basically done with him as well. Soon wanted nothing to do with him because he was like, how could he use both girls like this in this fashion? You know, and and that's the whole point of the third. The third episode is probably the best one so far. It, it is literally the best episode. Um, so, 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 so let's continue on here. You know... You know, Jolo is now alone in the school. Like, he has no friends. He lost all his popularity and rumors. Um, because there was another girl in the, in the library spreading around the rumor of what Jolo was doing. Okay? So, with that in mind, Jolo basically lost everything. He lost his friends, his popularity, and now he's getting bullied in the school. You know, with ticky tack stuff, like, he opened his shoe locker and, there's stuff all drawn over his shoes. Nobody really wants to hang out with him. Panji even turned on him as well, which to my surprise shocked me. But but I got the feeling that maybe this was all her plan and that she wanted it to happen. So th this last little portion of episode three was just done really well. Um, Because after this episode, I went and read the manga up to this point. And while the manga, well, I mean, while the anime did take some stuff out, it kept the core of what the anime, it kept the core of what the manga is. You understand? It kept the core, it kept like the feelings that, the emotion of what's happened, it kept all of that in there. So, Panshi calls Jolo to the library. Calls him up to the library, you know, telling him, can you go give me this book, all the way in the back of the library, you know, off to the side where if you enter through the door, you can't see him. Lo and behold, Soon walks in and, you know, he's basically, you know, trying to get with Panji. But Panji drops a bombshell. He's like, I know you've been using him all along. And <laughs> Soon's face was just priceless. It was priceless because he was in disbelief that she knew that he, you know, kind of planned all this. And, you know, Panji laid it out perfectly because she was like, there's no way you didn't know that these two girls liked you. To this point that they're you know being unnatural and unsuccessfully trying to get his attention there's no way that he didn't know she also deduced that that soon basically used those two girls to turn on Jolo because he was petty and that he had lost a you know previous you know I guess battle of war or battle of love to Jolo because another girl that he had a crush on liked Jolo. Even Jolo's, you know, quote unquote fake personality, she liked that as well. Um, so he was just upset because he had lost to Jolo probably for the first time. You know, the first time that really ever mattered. Um, and then he figures out Panji likes Jolo and his second personality as well. To the point where he was like, okay. Well, <laughs> so, okay, well, I'm just going to force you to go out with me. And that's when Jolo appears and basically cusses out soon for using both Himawari and Cosmo's, you know, affection. Uh, and then laughing about their affection, how they feel towards them. So, you know, soon, I mean, Jolo just laying into soon verbally, um, 
verbally like like at this point that their friendship is done like 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 those two are not talk are probably not going to talk for a good minute they they're just not they they're just not um at the end of this episode we found out the real reason why Panji likes Jolo so much and and this was masterfully done as well give all props to the anime studio this is done really well um Panji is also hiding something she's hiding her true what's the word I'm looking for her true appearance because once again this all started at the baseball game there was uh there was an east and west exit where both girls you know both Kimura and Cosmo saw Jutsu you know at the north exit you know at the south exit that's where soon saw Panji and that's when he you know gradually fell in love with her with Panji well Panji saw Jolo at the north exit you know arms full with bags of you know soon's favorite food trying to cheer him up after a very hard fought uh, baseball match you know you know his boy was heartbroken about losing that match he was like I'm just gonna you know take care of him get his favorite food we're gonna go out and have some fun you know get it get his mind away from it but <laughs> but what Jolo didn't know was that he didn't recognize Panji at the time because she had completely hid her appearance and you know at the end of the episode her real appearance is you know is provided like instead of you know having the braids in her hair her hair is now down she's not wearing glasses anymore and it appears that she was wearing binding wrap around her chest um and you know her chest is now fully exposed and this and it was a lot bigger than what you know it, it basically suited Joel's taste if, if <laughs> his type of woman that he liked it suited his taste um and she was like, you know, I've been hiding this as well. And she was sad that he didn't recognize her. And he was like, well, how could I? You look completely different <laughs> from before. And so really, that that's how this episode ends with uh, with Panji giving Jolo, uh, you know, a reward slash kiss on the cheek. For, you know, for going, you know with this kind of crazy plan of hers alone and that's how episode three ends so i really don't know how episode four is gonna go but i tell you this this is going to be one of the best rom-coms of the season yes it's probably gonna be 12 episodes uh, it's probably gonna get a season two because i don't know how far the light novels are but man it gets crazy it it, it gets crazy um, <laughs> after watching these two episodes, I really feel like it's headed in a good direction. Um, I, I hope they don't, they, you know, don't cut out as much detail as the manga went into. Or even more details, I'm sure the light novel has gone into. I hope they don't cut out as much detail. But overall, I really enjoyed these two episodes. And so, these two episodes, I'll give them like a 9. I'll give them a 9. Cause I, I rarely give, you know episode series a 10 unless they truly deserve it so it's like some series i gave a 10 was you know steins gate that that was a masterpiece it really was but as far as oya super girls i'm excited for episode four i'm excited for the rest of this series um i'm looking forward to seeing some of the new characters that are introduced and how panji and jolo's relationship continues to evolve from this moment so if you guys have made it this far, once again, uh, I encourage you to leave a like, uh, hit that red box that says subscribe, and hit that, click that little bell notification for me as well. You get notified every time I upload. Um, so I'm, I'm mostly uploading Oyasuki anime reviews, and you know a girl who chants love at the bottom of this world walkthroughs right now. And that's pretty much it. So this is Juju the Gamer. Once again, I'm signing off. See you next time. Into the next video.